When it comes to making cool stuff on the internet, JavaScript is like a superhero language. It helps create interactive websites and apps that you see and use every day. But guess what? There are new libraries that make JavaScript even more awesome. These libraries are like special kits that help developers build things faster and cooler. In this video on 5 new JavaScript libraries, we are going to check out these 5 super cool JavaScript libraries. These libraries help make websites faster, fancier and more fun to use. But before we begin, let me ask you a quick question. So which of the following is not a JavaScript data type? Option A is string, option B is integer, option C is boolean and option D is float. Now you can pause this video and answer in the comment section below. Alright, now let's move on to the first topic which is what are JavaScript libraries? So JavaScript libraries are the toolboxes for web developers. Imagine you are building a new house. Instead of creating every single nail, screw and piece of wood from scratch, you use a toolkit filled with all the things you need. JavaScript libraries are similar. They are pre-made sets of code that developers can use to make their websites or web applications work better and look cooler without starting from zero. Or in other words, JavaScript libraries are collections of pre-written JavaScript code that developers can use to perform common tasks and functions in web development. These libraries contain reusable functions and methods that help simplify and speed up the process of building websites and web applications. Instead of creating code from scratch, developers can use these libraries to create incorporate features like animations, user interface components, data manipulation, etc. So this was about what are JavaScript libraries. Alright, now let's understand uses of JavaScript libraries. So the first use is to create dynamic and interactive and responsive user interfaces. Second is to execute useful functions on a web page or a JavaScript based application such as animation, visualization, data, validating input and manipulating content. Third use is to decrease the time needed for development and enhance the quality and manageability of the code. And the fourth use is to facilitate the development of web application that can function across various platforms ensuring compatibility with diverse browsers and devices. So these are the four uses that we have mentioned. But yeah, definitely there are many other uses of JavaScript libraries as well. Alright, now we will discuss five new JavaScript libraries that you can use in your next project. So let's start with the first one which is Anime.js. Anime.js is a powerful animation library that enables developers to create smooth and eye-catching animations for their websites and web applications. It provides a simple and intuitive syntax for animating various properties of HTML elements such as position, scale rotation and opacity. With Anime.js, developers can easily bring static elements to life and enhance user experience by adding engaging animations. Moreover, Anime.js exhibits versatility by seamlessly working with an array of elements. It seamlessly interfaces with CSS properties, SVG, DOM attributes and even JavaScript objects. This compatibility allows for the creation of intricate animations with remarkable ease and optimal performance. If you are working on a project on JavaScript, then this is one of the most essential JavaScript library that you can use. Also, if you are aiming to become a full stack web developer, then try our postgraduate program in full stack web development. This program will give you the foundation for building full stack web apps using the Java programming language. You will begin with the basics of JavaScript and then venture into some of the more advanced concepts like Angular, Spring Boot, Hibernate, JSPs and MVC. Now is a perfect time to get started on your career as a full stack web developer. To find the details of Simply Learn's postgraduate program in full stack web development, check the link in the description box below. It could be the ideal solution to help you build your career in the right direction. Alright, now let's move on to the second library which is Faker.js. So Faker.js is a library designed to generate fake data for testing and development purposes. It can generate a wide range of fake data including names, address and phone numbers, email addresses and more. This is incredibly useful for creating realistic test environments without using real user data. Developers can use Faker.js to simulate various scenarios and ensure applications handle different data inputs effectively. Faker.js is like a super important tool for making test situations feel real. Developers can make situations and then test how well their apps work in different situations. This helps find the problems and make the apps better. 
It's kind of like having a secret weapon for developers. They can use faker.js to create situations that look and act like real data but without using real people's info. This keeps things private and safe. So to put it simply, faker.js is must have tool for developers. It lets them to pretend to use real data without causing any privacy problems. So this was about faker.js. You can try this library while building your JavaScript project. All right. Now moving on to the next library, which is pop motion. So pop motion is a versatile animation and physics library that focuses on creating interactive and engaging user interfaces. It offers tools for creating animations, transitions and interactive elements using a straightforward API. Pop motion also includes features for handling physics simulations, gestures and user interactions, making it a great choice for building dynamic and lively web interfaces. But wait, there's more. Pop motion isn't just about making things look pretty. It's also great at handling the way things move in a natural way, like how a ball bounces or a spring stretches. This makes animations feel more realistic and lifelike. And guess what? It's not just about clicking and moving things. Pop motion understand gestures too. Think of swiping, tapping and other ways you interact with your phone. This library can handle those actions smoothly, making websites feel like they are responding to your touch. So this is one of the most important JavaScript library that you can include in your next project. All right. So this was about pop motion. Now coming to the next JavaScript library, which is spirit. So spirit is a lightweight animation library that specializes in creating high performance animations for the web. It is designed to be efficient and optimized for smooth animation rendering, making it suitable for creating complex and visually appealing animations without causing performance issues. Spirit provides an API for creating animations using a timeline based approach. It can also integrate with React, Vue, Angular, etc. It is like super skilled magician for web animations. It's a small and efficient library that's all about making animations on the web run super smoothly. It is designed in a way that it's really good at making animations look awesome without making your computer struggle. One cool thing about Spirit is how it organizes animation. It uses something called a timeline based approach. This means you can plan out how different animations happen at different times. It's kind of like choreographing a dance. You decide when each move should happen to create a beautiful sequence. Spirit lets developers do the same thing with animations on websites. All right. So this was about the Spirit library. Now coming to the next library, which is D3.js. So D3.js, that is data driven documents. So data driven documents library is a powerful data visualization library that enables developers to create interactive and dynamic data visualizations using HTML, SVG and CSS. It's particularly well suited for displaying complex data sets and turning them into meaningful visual representations such as charts, graphs, maps and more. D3.js provides a set of tools for binding data to DOM elements and updating the visualizations as the data changes. D3.js is like a wizard that can make complex data look simple and understandable. You know, when you have a lot of numbers and you're not sure what they mean, D3.js can take those numbers and create charts, graphs, and even maps that make it easy to see patterns and trends. It's like turning a confusing table or puzzle into a clear picture. One of the cool things about D3.js is that it's not just a one time thing. It's like having a magical painting that changes as the data changes. Let's say you are tracking the weather each day. So D3.js can automatically update the chart to show the new weather data without you having to redraw everything. So this was about D3.js. It is also another JavaScript library. Interesting. So this was about the JavaScript libraries that five new JavaScript libraries that you can include in your next project. So we have come to the end of this video. So in this ever evolving world of web development, staying up to date with the latest tools and technologies is key to crafting exceptional digital experiences. So whether you are a seasoned developer or just starting your coding journey, exploring these libraries can provide you with valuable resources to enhance your projects and push the boundaries of what's achievable. All right, guys, with that, we have come to the end of this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I hope it really helped you all. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and keep learning. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.